Hi, I'm Kat from Ohi DIY and today I'm going to be showing you how you can turn any bit of cheap furniture that you can upcycle into an amazing superhero themed kids bedroom chest of drawers. So I bought this for £3, £3 on Facebook Marketplace. I went and picked it up. It is a great little chest of drawers, two drawers, nice big drawers. All we're going to use this for is my son's socks and underwear and bedding can just go in here. And I'm going to show you how it's really easy to make it over into something really special and unique. So we're going to get started. The first step is I've got some sugar soap here and I'm going to just wash the whole thing down, take the drawers out and then we're ready to move on to painting. This is ready to use sugar soap, so it's already diluted. Um, and all I need to do is spray it onto the surface, use a cloth and a sponge to rub it all over and then give it a wipe dry. Let's get on with that now. So I've had to move away down to the floor because the table that I was using has just collapsed. Doesn't make any difference though. Next, now it's all clean, the drawers are out. Just about to have a little visitor. Hi there. The drawers are out. Now what we're gonna do is take the inner fixings out. So just unscrew them, the tracks where the drawers go. Keep them safe to one side because we're gonna put them back. But it's just so that we can paint the whole thing nice and even and the drawers still work fine. The next thing I'm going to do, you can see it's ever so slightly damaged here. So the liner has just come off a tiny little bit. So what I'm going to do, I've got a piece of card, just any old piece of card. You could use a credit card for this or a proper smoother if you've got one. And I'm just going to take, so this is actually mixed, ready mixed deep gap filler. But actually I find it the best kind of filler because it's kind of moussey and light. And so it works a bit better than other fillers. So all that I'm going to do is just get some with my fingers and just slide it along here like this. And you only need a tiny bit, it's not loads. And you know, it might not be perfect, but again, three pounds. Um, and I'm just going to slide it along like that. Yep. And then again in the end, I'm actually just using my fingernail to get it out. I always find with small fillers, it's actually better to use your hands at first because it just helps it stick a little bit better. I don't know what that is, but maybe it's the warmth of your hands or I don't know. But see, that's all in. I'm going to use the card and just ever so gently just scrape down the edge just to try and that's better do it that way. Flatten it off ever so slightly. And then I'm going to do the same. See that I've got the excess off there. And then I'm just going to do the same along the top because you don't want it on the top. Now, when that's dry, what we can do is just give that a little sand and that's just going to make that edge perfect. Rather than peeling the lino off, having an even edge, having to replace it, or even having a dented piece of furniture that you've just covered over, you've just fixed that really easily. And, you know, I, I find, I mean, our house is obviously a project, so it's a bit different for us, but having filler in the house <laughs> at all times um, comes in handy. So it's just, just seen another bit there and I could have I've just been able to do that bit with my finger. And that's how you can fix any imperfections. So we'll just leave that to dry and then we can get on with the painting. The paint that I have got to do this is this. So it is brilliant white, flat matte, and it's furniture velvety smooth paint so it's self priming so you don't need to bother priming it which is excellent i think i've got some leftover wallpaper from my son's bedroom that i'm going to try and use a bit skeptical about how that's going to turn out but we'll see and also some superhero handles so white just a nice plain white i think will make it perfect and give it a whole new lease of life i'm going to paint the drawers while that dries, we're gonna remove these handles. So it came with these little shaped handles. Um, I'm gonna replace these with superhero handles. So I'm gonna take them off and then I'm gonna get the drawers painted inside and out. So to do this, I've got a little mini roller. Um, it's got one of these spongy sort of ends on it so it gives a nice smooth finish. I've got my furniture paint. So I'm ready to get on with making this look nice. As you can see, it's now 
well painted. It took a couple of coats, but it's got a really nice finish. It is a bit lumpy on the top, but that's the old vinyl, but actually I don't mind it. It looks good. It looks like it's the wood grain. We'll have to excuse. I've just given the dog a treat and now all he's doing is pacing around the room with it. So apologies if all you can hear is the pitter patter of claws while a really annoying cockapoo walks around the room. Anyway, next step is the wallpaper. So I have got this leftover Marvel wallpaper from when Theo had his room decorated. So you can see it's black and white, so comic strip wallpaper, which I actually love because it is a great way of getting some sort of nice monochrome style into a kid's bedroom, but it is still superheroes and not like really garish and in your face. So I'm just gonna measure out the right size, put it into a rectangle, and then we're gonna use just some PVA glue to stick it to the unit. As you can see, it's cut to size and ready to go. Here, so all I did was use a tape measure to measure the opening and cut it. Simple, simple. And then I've got just a little container with some PVA glue in it, normal kids PVA glue. You could use wallpaper paste, but to be honest, it's a bit too much faff, like this is fine. So just load the brush and then, as you can see, I have weighted down the paper with various bits and pieces, so just so it doesn't roll up. And just make sure it's all covered right up to the edges. Try and get it even, you don't want any, you see how I've got splodges of glue, so just try and make sure that it's all evenly brushed out and then we'll get this stuck on. All shiny with glue. So I'm just going to, oops, I should move around a little bit, hopefully you'll still be able to see. Um, just going to edge this into the right position, so put it into place. And then just make sure that there are no bubbles or gaps. Smooth it out from the centre with my hand. Make sure your hands are dry so you don't smudge the print. And then down, 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 down. And there we are. Now that I've just left a little bit on the bottom, that actually can just be wrapped under rather than having to trim it. I just wanted to make sure that it was definitely the right length. So you can just neaten that off like this. And how good does that look? So this is the side of the unit. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side. Then we're gonna see what to do next. I might get a bit more creative with the front. I've not decided yet. We'll see. So, final step, you can see the side is lovely. And now I have got these handles to put onto the front. I was thinking about putting some more wallpaper on the front, but actually it's a bit beveled and I don't think it needs it. Less is more. So I am using these handles. Now, full disclosure, these handles are from my own company. So they're from Paper and Glass, superhero theme. So we've got a fist here, a shield, a hammer. There's also a Spider-Man one. Um, they are 3D printed filament and you can see that they've got these little brass inserts in to make sure that they screw in nice and tight and work very well as handles. So what I could have done here is fill in these existing holes and put two on because you can see they look pretty good in the set. They just had a really nice fun touch. You can buy them at paperandglass.co.uk. Also sell them on Etsy and eBay so or hit me up anyway, advert over. Um, so I'm going to put these on and literally I'm going to have to just tip this forward a bit to get the drawer out and there we go. Also what I forgot to mention is I put all the original fixings back on, just screwed them back into place. I could have sprayed them a different colour, so I could have sprayed them white, I could have sprayed them black, but to be honest, I just didn't really think it was worth the effort. They look fine. Um, so I'm just gonna pop the bolt through and then screw the fist in place. See, how cute does that look? Just angle it down a little bit. So we've got the shield here, fist there, open close. I'm also going to line the drawers with a bit of 
extra wallpaper so that inside you've got that extra superhero feel. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with this DIY. Three pounds. The wallpaper obviously did cost me money, but I already had it. These are £15 for a pair. So all this less than 20 quid. Absolute bargain. Quick interlude here. As I was editing the video, I spotted that because I'd used the wrong size bolt on this, it was wobbly. So I just wanted to show you that that isn't the handle, that it was just my fault. And we've switched the bolt out. And as you can see, it's lovely and sturdy. Pants in there. There's the bottom one. Also nice and sturdy. So that was just me being lazy and not a reflection on the handles. Happy with that. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. It's been absolutely fun to make. First video in two years as well, which is a huge thing. Hello, Colombo. Coming in for the end. Um, if, sorry, if you did enjoy this video and my random interludes from the dogs, then please do hit the like button. It really does help. Subscribe to my channel. That would be great. And I promise I will be back soon with more DIYs.